Shalom, Shalom, my brother Kadash. I want to give our praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashem, Kadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles. Peace, blessings, honors to all the brothers and this truth. This is like first case of monkey pox in um, the 2022. Um, I just want to speak on the whole monkey pox thing right now. I don't really think that it's going to get big. I could be wrong, you know, hopefully, you know. But I don't really think that it's going to be big as the other thing that was going around. I mean, we just got to see, you know. So this is just what's on the news. But we was warned of these things to come. You know, um, things can mutate and, and get and get worse and worse. So who knows, you know, at this point. But we do know that don't, you know, don't expect for this to be the last thing that's going to come out. Because we're just getting closer to the end, you know. And um, this is Matthews 24. One thing you will see about this channel is like, yeah, I'm going to go over a lot of the same precepts because with me, I hit the main precepts that get straight to the point that break it down. You know, sometimes it's not always good to go into the deepest things. And uh, and I've noticed that because I do that, too. You know, don't get it fucked up. I'm deep with it, you know, and I go deep and in, in, in deep into the spirit, too. But what I start realizing is, is that the world is not deep. So you're trying to teach these things. And, yeah, it's good for the brothers. But like the Lord say, he comes for the um, he comes for the sinners to repent. You know, the brothers, they already know all the deep prophecies. They already know it. But the people of the world that's coming across this, they still they don't they not deep like that, man. They very shallow, you know, and you got to teach them the truth, you know, so. I've been noticing that, you know, a lot, you know, so really a man that specialized in the shallow things is it, really going to get a lot of farther, farther than a man that got all the deepest breakdowns because the deepest breakdowns is going to go over, over everybody's head. You know, majority of people that you bump into out there are going to not really know that much, you know, so you just got to get on the basis. And that's what you're seeing right now is with a lot of these precepts. Yeah, I repeat them a lot over and over again, not to go off on a rant, but that's just to give you the, the truth because this ain't about me glorifying myself, trying to make myself seem all deep and all this and that. It ain't about that. It's simply about getting getting the truth out there. It's about spreading the good gospel. That's it. Matthew 24, verse um, 5, for many shall come in my name saying, I am a Mashiach and should deceive many. And ye should hear of wars and rumors of wars. So the thing that's going on in Ukraine is a war. And then what what are you hearing? Rumors of war. China might get Tijuana. NATO might get involved if this happens. So it says, see that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. Now, we at this part, but this is not the end because there's still so much more to go. I mean, I could um, quote a couple things off the top of the head. You have the MOTB. That still has to get here. Now let's slow let's slow your horses down a little bit because I know a lot of brothers up and they ready right now. They oh it's, it's going on. The next six months we out of here. I I done seen it happen before. Not telling you not to have faith, man. I wish that it was the next six months too, you know. But you gotta be, you gotta have discernment, you know, and and you gotta know the prophecies. You know, and you got to discern the times, right? You have to discern the times, right? So the Lord said, but the end is not yet. You still got the MOTB. That still has to be, they already have the technology for it and they already setting the infrastructure for it. But that still has to be, it still has to be exposed, right? In a way or revealed to the masses. And then it has to be mandated. So you may have it revealed, but you still you still got to wait for, you know, it come out where it's optional for months and months and months, maybe a year or or half a year and to the point where it's mandated. So you still got time and they ain't revealed it yet. It's been revealed. We know what it is. And there is people out there getting that. But it hasn't been, you know, set out as like this is something that you need to get, you know, so you still have all that. You still have this right here that we're about to read. It says, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there should be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. We've seen all that. Uh, what's a pestilence? Well, what you're reading about uh, monkey pots, that's a pestilence, right? It says, all these are the beginning of sorrows. So the Lord said, look, this is just the beginning of sorrows. 
So where we're at right now, we're and we're in the beginning of sorrows. It says, then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and should kill you, and ye should be hated of all nations for my name's sake. So when this happened, this when we know we at the end when they start delivering us up. They're coming against the Hebrew Israelites. They're coming against the camps. They're coming against the prophets, which they are already setting the groundwork to do it, but they haven't did it yet. So you still got time for them to come and start doing this. It says, and then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall arise and deceive many. All this has to happen. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. So you have to endure through all this and then you should be saved right and then it says in this gospel the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto the nations and then shall the end come so we right there because the gospel has been preached all around but you still got other prophecies that have to be fulfilled not saying that this thing is going to go 10 years i don't believe that at all but it may go another year it may go another two years just me guessing personally um it may go like another two years but the thing is that don't mean the Lord is going to come back because the end is when the Lord actually comes back. You know, that doesn't mean within those two years, the Lord is going to come back. You see what I'm saying? You may have all hell breaking loose. When I say two years, I'm saying like to all hell break loose. Shit hits the fan. You're not living regular society life no more. You're not getting up, going to work, coming home and, and and having your weekends off. The life ain't like that no more. It's all hell. It's Mad Max. It's the book of Eli. You know, um, it's, it's the book of Eli, Mad Max and, and out there. That's what I'm saying. So you, I'm guessing like within the next two years, it's going to be complete Mad Max on the street or the purge on the street. Right. Then you may have a time period from there to when the Lord comes back because the Lord is not going to leave us out there suffering like that that long you know so that's that's just my personal opinion on that but like the bible says you know the prophecies have to be fulfilled and then the lord is going to come back because that's one of the prophecies let's let this play with the whole monkey pot thing which which plays a part in the prophecies too you know the CDC issuing a new warning now about monkeypox. All Americans, of course, can get the virus, but they're saying right now that the LGBTQ plus community should be especially cautious at the moment ahead of the pride facilities coming, pride festivities coming next month. The CDC is reporting many of the cases so far are among. So what's that? That's a judgment. You heard what she said. The, the ABC boys got to worry about it. That's a judgment from the Lord, man. If you can't see that, then. You 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 need your spiritual eyes open. That's a judgment from the Lord. What a coincidence, right? So what the Lord is doing, this is what and this is what I'm trying to say about the whole time period because I used to be like that too. You know, you want everything to just happen real fast when we wake up in the kingdom. I get it, man. We all praying for that. Keep putting those prayers up, as a matter of fact. You know, but you gotta have that discernment. You gotta discern the times that you know what the Lord is doing is He doing a slow cook on them. He doing a slow cook on him. Lord could take this whole place off. We could be in the kingdom by tomorrow. Easily. But what did the Lord say in Revelation chapter 7? You know, and I and I say the Lord because all scripture is inspiration of the Lord, right? So what did it say in Revelation chapter 7? It said the Lord the, has the angels holding back that wind, holding back that destruction. So the Lord, so ain't no destruction like if if Russia wanted to let off a nuke right now, they couldn't do it unless the Lord allowed it. United States could not let off a nuke right now. Not one nuke on Earth could be detonated right now unless the Lord allows it. So the Lord is doing a slow cook right now. He's judging people. You know, all the stuff you've seen happen in America, the different shootings and stuff, that's all judgment going out. The Lord is doing a slow cook on them, and that's what's going to make it even worse because what it is is it's going to tire the people. It's going to tire people down. People are going to be tired of every year since 2019, pretty much. It's something. Something crazy is going on. It's havoc. It's hardship. So the Lord is doing a slow cook on them, and that's even worse than just a swift judgment. Gay and bisexual men, though the disease can be passed to anyone. There's one confirmed case of monkeypox so far in the United States and six presumed cases. Joining me now for more on this is Dr. Eve Bracho Sanchez. She's a pediatrician at Columbia University's Irving Medical Center. It's good to see you, doctor. So the CDC's put out good this. Good to see you. 
warning that the way that they put it is, uh, quote, there's been a notable fraction of cases that are happening among right. gay Right, and this ain't going to be something, in my opinion, this ain't going to be something that's going to be big that's going to take out a hundred million. It could, but no, what is it? It's a slow cook. Take out a million here. Then this one comes, take out another million. Then this one comes, take out another million. It's a slow cook, and then the Lord is going to bring the full destruction. You know, so you just got to wait to see, you know, but hey, we still put those prayers up because we haste in the day at the same time. Sexual men, but of course, anyone can get this no matter your sexual orientation. What is this warning stemming from? Kate, I think the CDC has a responsibility to notify the public and to notify physicians in particular when they see a trend, right? As you mentioned, anyone, anyone can get this and can spread it. But I think it is important to know that right now there seems to be some sort of higher exposure level in the LGBTQ community, as you mentioned. Because that's the work of the Lord. That's the work of the Lord. You don't know what it what it did mutated to you don't know what exactly about this unless you study this actual pesticide right to know what's making it target those people but the number one thing that's making it target those people is the lord you know see things that we can understand and know in the spirit these scientists have to go through years and billions of dollars and research just to get to the conclusion that we already got through the spirit. So who really is the smartest? Right? Who really winning? Us. By the time they figure out that it's angels and the UFOs, <laughs> the end will be here. They have to, every eye is going to see Revelation chapter one. We already know that right now. So if you know this truth and you know this knowledge and wisdom, consider yourself very blessed by the Lord to know it. You know, we know what the end's going to look like. We know, we know what's coming. We know the prophecies. A lot of these people don't, man. And you know it. So what does that make you? Well, hopefully the elect. Hopefully prophets of the Lord. Pride festivities are coming up. So it is important for people in that community to be aware that this is happening. It's happened in other countries. It could happen here, although the risk remains low right now in this country. So very much to put us all on alerts, but again, can happen to anyone, and it's important not to stigmatize the illness. Just like the Great Flood. You know how much research they had to do to figure out that the Earth was flooded? Guess how much research we had to do to figure it out? Zero. This is why the faith, faith is the most important thing. Why? Because we knew through just faith, through through the spirit told us, you know, they got to go and research things about they got to find Noah's art. We already know about it. We already believe it. They got to figure out how the earth is going to be destroyed. We already know fire and brimstone, nuclear weapon. They got to figure out what what the um, what what um, what the new world order consists of the MOTB. We already know through the spirit. You see, so the Lord is feeding us this great knowledge and wisdom, the greatest knowledge and wisdom of the whole earth. And these people, just like, right, just like um, in Egypt, when the Lord is bringing the plagues on the Egyptians, you had, um, you had, um, damn, what was the name? Slip in my head. You had the magicians that would go out and try to redo whatever the plague was. They had tried to recreate it, but it was only so much that they could do. And then they had to admit that, look, this is the work. This is work of the Lord. And that's the same thing that's going to happen to Mystery Babylon. They trying to, you know, the Lord is plaguing them and they trying different things to try to keep their economy flow, try to fight against inflation. But at some point in time, they're just going to have to realize and admit that it's the Lord that's plaguing this place. And about to destroy this place they're going to have to admit who the israelites are they're going to have to admit that they're not the chosen people then it would say in revelation chapter 2 that the lord will make them bow down to us and come to worship before our feet and know that he has loved us so he's going to expose who his israelites are who the true people are and who the who the uh, false people are that's lying the edomites and they're going to have to admit that this place is mystery babylon they're going to have to admit all these things and then what is it going to do? It's going to cause them to be mad at the Lord for the judgment that's coming down on them. 
and they're going to come after the Lord's people. And then that's when you get Matthews 24, like we just read. You know, so get ready. Prepare yourself. With that, we're going to say salvation to the election.